Good day parents and students! This is part 5 of our training and orientation series. We are going to compare the average day of a student doing printed modules and the one who is enrolled in online distance learning. So, this is Blue Lions. Ready ka na ba? Let's go! Parents whose child is enrolled in PMDL has to come to school on any date between August 25 to 28 to get the Teachers modules. Teachers will be waiting starting 8 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Don't forget to observe our safety protocols. Wear your mask and face shield. Enter through gate 1 and have your temperature checked. Pass through a foot bath. Fill up the travel history form using your own pen before proceeding to the Unity Comfort Court to get the modules. Kind of observe the social distancing in the other health protocols. You will be assisted by BCS faculty in getting your modules. After receiving your modules, leave the campus through the big gate immediately to avoid crowding the area. The registered number from enrolled students will receive an e-text informing them of their office.com like interventions. Ito ay ang kanilang email address at password. Importante ang email address at password upang makagamit ng MS Teams at iba pang Microsoft 365 apps. Ito ay sensitibong informasyon. Huwag isishare sa iba ang inyong password at login information. Mga magulang, inaasahan po namin na bilinan ang mga batang ingatan ang mga ito. Sa loob ng Teams app, Makikita ng mga bata ang iba-iba nilang klase na binuo ng kanilang mga guro. Dito nila makikita ang kanilang mga nakatakdang gawain at live conference schedules. Pwede pwede rin makipag-usap sa guro o sa mga kaklase gamit ang MS Teams. Unlike other social media, MS Teams is a safe, secure learning environment. It is relatively free from distractions at nandito na ang lahat ng kakainakay ng mga bata para sa pag-aaral maliban sa kanilang libro. Bukod sa assignments o takdang gawain, maaaring maglagay ang kuro ng tabs o video links upang in sequence na mag-aral ang mga bata, tulad ng sa loob ng classroom. The module contains every lesson that the students will study for a certain period of time. It consists all activities, materials needed, references, and even answer keys for some assessments. Sa MS Teams, matatagpuan ang mga lessons at mga pre-recorded videos ng mga guro. Ito ay para sa mabilis na pagkatuto ng mga bata. Para naman sa mga sulating gawain o sagutan gawain, ay mabilis o agad na makapagbibigay ng feedback ang mga guro. Ito ay para maitama o maiwasto ang mga maling concepts sa pagkatuto ng mga bata. Gayon din ay makakapagsimula na siya sa susunod na gawain. Sa oras na matanggap ng bata ang kanyang module, ay maaari na siya magsimula ng kanyang pag-aaral. Siguraduhin na ang bata ay mayroong libro sa kanyang pag-aaral. Para sa mga independent learner, maaari na niyang simulang sagutan ang activity sa module na kanyang matanggap. Para naman sa dependent learner, lalo na sa mga bang-aaral na walang kakayanang magsagot at mag-aaral mag-isa, kinakailangan ng gabay ng magulang o mas nakatatanda sa kanila. Before the start of the lesson, make sure to read the objectives and guidelines written on the module to be familiar with the flow. Simula ng pag-aaral at pagsasagot sa introduction. Simula August 24, ay magiging available na ang mga learning materials sa inyong Microsoft Teams. Mayroon ding sample schedule na nakalaan para sa pag-aaral sa bawat subject. Ito ay maaaring sundin at maaari rin namang palitan ayon sa kagustuhan ng mag-aaral. Ngunit, siguraduhin lamang na may sapat na oras para sa pag-aaral sa lahat ng asignatura. Subalit, ang mga schedule naman na may kulay dilaw ay hindi maaaring palitan sapagkat ito ay nakalaan para sa synchronous lessons o ito yung panahon na kung saan ang mga mag-aaral ay inaasahan para sa isang live conference ng kanilang mga guro. Now, let's see what a typical day in a student's life looks like during distance learning. Let's take a look at both PMDL and ODL. We begin the day in the life of a distance learner. 
As they woke up in the morning, what's the first thing they do? Pray of course, or have devotion. Next, they take a bath, brush their teeth, and get ready for the day. A healthy breakfast is a must. Brain food, please. For both PMDL and ODL, it is very advisable that you set a study area or space for your child. It has been discussed on our first series of training. Do you still remember what are those? Recall nga natin, it is well lighted and well ventilated. Is there any destruction around? Do you have anything you need near you? Like your pets, books, or so on? By the way, do you still remember our study area photo challenge? Upload na! Alamin ang timetable ng mga anak bago umalis ng bahay kung ang parent ay nag-work. Ask what are the goals for the day. Set up your children for success in their schoolwork. Prayer time and circle time is necessary for younger kids. For PMDL, it is indicated in your modules. Parents, kayo po ang magsasagawa ng prayer time and circle time activities kasama ng inyong mga Ang pagkanta ng regular songs, road learning ng alphabet, counting, and other activities ay kailangan upang mahasa ang mga bata sa pagsasalita, pagkanta, at iba pa. Sa mga older students mula grade 3 hanggang pataas, kailangan may daily morning activities na inobserve tulad ng praying, reviewing work from the day, Checking their schedules at iba pa. Ang mga baitang na tatlo hanggang pito ay kailangan ng tulong at patrubay ng mga mga Sa ODL, you can have your teacher with you during circle time. It is through icons and pictures that when you click on them, it will direct you to your teacher's pre-recorded videos of prayers, circle time, calendar, sing-alongs, and exercises too. This is a very interactive part because your kids will feel as if kasama niya talaga si teacher kapag umaawit na kahit si mommy or si daddy ay pwede ring sumabay. Sa mga bata naman na grade 3 pataas ay mayroon ding daily morning routine na gagawin. The student starts working at 8 a.m. A consistent timetable is necessary. His first job is to look at his schedule. He sees that he has plenty to do today. He starts with English by opening his module along with his books. He will work from this for one hour. Then another with arts for 30 minutes. He takes a short break in the kitchen. He then continues with math and Filipino. By 12 noon, he will have his lunch. Maybe take a short nap. By 1 p.m., he can start with his Halle project then move on to the Bible, and finally, science, to end at 4 p.m. What about his students? He too starts working at 8 a.m. He checks his schedule and finds out he has homeroom with his advisor at 8.30. He continues his live conferences until 11 a.m. with his Hele, English, Filipino, and Bible teachers for 30 minutes each. Here, his teachers get to explain the processes he has to do or explain a lesson he needs to undertake later in the day. He takes a short break at 10 a.m. while online. He rests at 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. when he also takes his lunch. While he was online, his devices would have sync with his teacher's notebook. By 1 p.m., he does his English, Filipino, and Bible work assigned to him. Most days, he won't even have to be online, although he may have to work on his computer or tablet. He finished at 4 p.m. the next day, he knows that he will not have live conferences, so he simply follows his teacher's instructions and watches pre-recorded videos that have been uploaded in MS3. 
syempre, kailangan-kailangan pa rin natin ng ating aklat bilang kagamitang panturo sa mga aralin at gawain na nakahanda sa modules. Ang mga libro, modules, kasama ang tulong ng mga magulang ay napakahalaga upang lubusang maintindihan at maunawa ng mga aralin. Ihanda ang aklat at iba pang kagamitan na kailangan para sa aralin upang hindi maatala ang inyong pag-aaral. Sa ODL, kailangan pa rin ng libro bilang reference material sa pag-aaral. The student is guided by Digital One Note Notebook na kaayos ito ayon sa pinakamagandang sequence ng pag-aaral. Bukod doon, meron pa itong links sa video o audio recordings na kanilang mga guro upang masigit nilang maunawaan ang kanilang mga lessons. Sa bawat pahina ay naroon ang kanilang guro in recorded form. At the same time, their teacher is only one chat away on Teams. Students and parents can ask specific help from us through our landline at 043-980-6176 or you can send us messages through our Globe or TM uh, line 0916-200-1679 or through our smart TNT number 0961-419-7381. As mentioned earlier, students at any level or parents can message throughout the day. The teacher shall advise students of their conference times where they can work one-on-one -on -one with students when they run into problems or need added input for their works or projects. Being physically fit and healthy is very vital during this pandemic and even during classes. Take time to move about, to stretch your fingers, hands, arms, neck, and your legs too. This is needed, especially when you feel tired and loaded with such tasks. Repress yourself for some minutes and then go back to your task again when you regain your energy. Huwag din kalimutang magpahinga. Gamitin ang mga scheduled breaks, magmeryenda, at uminom ng tubig. Panatilihin pa rin ang malusog na pangatawan kasabay na masiglang isipan. Dati after classes, tumatambay ang mga bata sa mga kainan o tindahan. Pero ngayong quarantine, wala silang after school socialization. This is the time when most kids would go on social media. If they had an internet connection, remember parents, teach kids respect online and offline. However, our principal, Mom Joy, recommends a daily exercise routine with the entire family. O ano? Ready ka na ba? Pwede mo na pang sabihin, Blue Lions, ready na! Ligyan, rapid ang pasokan! Pasokan na! Ready ka na ba? Pasko, Mom. Talaga? Excited ka na. Yes po, Mom! Excited na excited! Yay! Once again, thank you for tuning in, parents and students. We hope that we have shed some light about your questions regarding the PMDL and ODL of Batangas Christian Schools, LCMP. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the BCBC BCS YouTube channel to be updated with the upcoming videos for our parent orientation and training. Stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone. All for Him.